It's an all-female full contact sport played on quad skates, roller skates. We skate around a track and we have five girls from each team on the track. The aim of the game is to get um, the roller girl with the star on her helmet called the jammer through the pack passing opposing players and scoring points as she goes. It started in America back in the 1920s, I think, but it was kind of um, a bit like American wrestling where it was cheesy fights and things like that. So it died down and then back in 2001 the Texas Roller Girls brought it back, it's a flat track derby. And it came to London in about 2003 with the London Roller Girls and then it's spread across the country since then. They're each two minute uh, bouts as we call them. Five people be on the track, we try to get our jammer through and stop the other jammers so it can get kind of physical. <laughs> The other girls have to block each other out and try to help their jammer through. And we score points, not with balls, but with each person we pass. Uh, basically, the names that we come up with are kind of our alter egos. So we have beer tricks uh, after beer, and then we have um, ballistic. So when you're playing, you kind of take on this alter ego. And I'm Cynthia Payne, but spelled that way, <laughs> like sin. So we just kind of have this alter ego and take it on. And kind of, it's theatrical in that way. We've all become very close enough big family. We practice twice a week. Sometimes we'll take on an extra practice here or there, but we see each other quite a lot. Why are the men? It's all women, so they're not allowed to play. They have to, they only get to ref us and watch us and yell at us when we get in trouble. <laughs> Your outfit and your makeup and everything reflects who you want to be. So if you want to have a black eye, you can have a black eye. If you want to look fierce, you can look fierce. You can go faster stripes, whatever takes your fancy. Really, because it's it's got a very punk ethos, so the more you punk your outfit up, the better. It's almost like pink my look. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the things that you know, makes it so entertaining to, to be part of. Ah! With any sport, it's spectators do make it. You know, your football wouldn't be what it is without the, the, the fans who go and support it. So. You know, it is entertaining, it's lots of fun to play, but it's also so much fun to watch. You, you know, and you can get involved in so many ways, you know, with the banners and the cheering and the shouting and the face paint and all the rest of it. We teach you how to skate, we teach you how to fall, we teach you everything that you need to know. All you need to do is just bring yourself, we can provide skates, we can provide pads and we can provide the uh, coaching team to let, teach you how to do it. There have been mishaps, I, I won't lie, uh, but if you have proper protective equipment, it does cut down the, the limits. I mean, you have to wear your helmet, you have to wear your wrist guards, your elbow pads, your knee pads, your mouth guard. As with anything, you know, people break the legs playing rugby or football. I, I was talking to somebody who's broken the leg playing golf. So, you know, you can, there's risks involved in everything, but it's, it's as safe as it possibly can be. Any girl over 18 to whatever age they want to be, as long as they're fit and healthy. You need a helmet, elbow pads, wrist guards, knee pads and skates. <laughs> Ideally as much as possible, but a minimum of two hours a week. It's a fantastic way to meet new people. It's a brilliant way to keep, keep fit. You burn up to 600 calories an hour speed skating and um, it's a great all-over cardiovascular workout.